Every year after the holiday bike giveaway, there are bikes left over and volunteers fix them up for Martin Luther King Day. I'm your neighborhood reporter Jessica Davis and reporting here at the Boise Bicycle Project where volunteers are fixing up bikes and delivering them to children across the Treasure Valley. The Boise Bicycle Project had more than 100 bikes left over after their annual holiday kids bike giveaway. But no bike will go unloved. It's a whole uh, fleet of <laughs> delivery drivers today. So some are bringing a hatchback with a rack that can take two bikes and others are bringing a pickup truck and delivering you know, five or more bikes for us. Most, if not all, go to families who couldn't attend the event and the rest just go ahead and use the lock to like are being loaded up and delivered. The first place we're going is to the Nugents, delivering two bikes. Hey, I'm with the Boise Bicycle Project. I was supposed to drop off some bikes. Robert Carroll is a new resident of Boise. He's been into cycling since he was a kid. And after missing BBP's holiday kid bike giveaway, yeah, no problem. He knew he had to volunteer for this event, going from neighborhood to neighborhood. One down. Delivering bikes. Should your bike. It's always nice to, have to get <laughs> get kids bikes that uh, don't have access to them. I'm a big cyclist, so I think everybody should everybody should have the opportunity to have a bike. Bikes were delivered as far as Ontario, Oregon, and despite the rough winter weather, volunteers like Robert spent their holiday giving back to others. Bikes delivered. How was it? It was awesome. Feels good to get kids some bikes. Hopefully they'll get some use out of them. The Boise Bicycle Project is always in need of volunteers. And if you'd like to volunteer with BBP, you can visit this story on our Idaho News 6 webpage. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Jessica Davis, reporting from the Boise Bicycle Project.